Hello everyone, <laughs> whoa, voice crack. Hello everyone, it's Serpent, and welcome back to another episode, not on the Serpentland world. Um, uh, huh, interesting intro already. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are in a, uh, rather clear looking world, nothing too much about it, um, but we do have this lump of, uh, wire and chests and hoppers and other stuff and uh that's because well obviously this isn't the serpent land world but it is uh it is a world i've been working on for a little bit not too long but a little bit uh this is uh <laughs> this is archives four um the first one was uh disgusting the second one was pretty good actually the third one never actually got off its feet but this one this one's perfect um <laughs> so what is archives for or who is archives for depending on how you want to look at it um probably not that way uh huh well it's a uh, a storage system it's a uh, probably evident by the chests but it's uh it's not a normal sort of storage system uh it's it's a binary or, or it's a it's a storage storage system where you de uh, determine the chest everything's happening to with the with a binary selector, and that's kind of cool. But let me show you how it works, um, or how you uh, work it. So say I want some foliage, some leaves. Over here is the leaf chest, but I don't want to walk all the way over there. I mean, come on. Uh, so let's flick that lever. The light moves over flick it again, and the light is now hovering directly over that thing. So, let's flick the lever and bring the foliage to us. <laughs> Nifty sound effects. And here we go. All our uh, foliage is here. Hold on. Just to make it easier to uh, move stuff around. So yeah, we've got all our foliage now. And uh, if we want to send it back, we just uh, chuck it in here and head straight to the slot that's selected. <laughs> Nifty sound effects that way too. Uh, the light, w when stuff's happening, the uh, corresponding light will turn on, and generally there's a or the, uh, there's a sound effect when it st when the process starts and a sound effect when the process ends. But if we come over here. All our ch all our uh, shulker boxes are back in there, and uh, yeah, everything's nicely squared away. Squared away. If we want to select a different slot, say uh, the one with none of our valuables in it, uh, because we want to put valuables in it. Let's see, maybe uh, hmm, maybe one diamond. Um, yeah, okay. So what we do is we unflick that. Still too far though, so let's do a little of that and line it up. And now let's put our preciousness uh, into the chest. <laughs> there we go. Uh, if we um, if we do something like this, so that we've got a lot of diamonds, uh, then we can hold hold this lever and. Uh, <laughs> wait until we've got a decent amount in here. Say, uh, we, we want to make some, I don't know, a few pairs of pants. That'll do. And when the uh, process stops, there we go. 29 diamonds for uh, about four and a ninth, four and a seventh pairs of pants. Um, so let's put that back. Um, okay. So, the way this works, really, it's not too difficult. Uh, there's just a bunch of hoppers, uh, a bunch of hoppers, a hopper line uh, over all the, over all the uh, chests, and um, <laughs> yeah, and you select a certain slot with the binary decoder, and um, that slot unlocks, and you can do stuff to it. Really, uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Um, so. Now that you know how to, how it works, I'm not actually sure whether or not I um <laughs> I I told you why I built this, 
Well, I've been wanting to build a binary uh, storage system in the uh, Serpentland world for a little while, um, and I've just waited until I designed a good one. Design it, I have, um, and now we can build that. Um, however, uh, not in this episode, because uh, I have a lot of homework and um, I don't have time to make an episode right now, but I thought I'd key you in on what you can expect soon. Uh, anyway. So, that's that, really. And actually, I do want to show you a little bit of something else over here. Um, I, I tried to make a shulker box defragger. Uh, so if you have if you have something like this, and you want all, all of the stone here in a... Uh, in the same shulker box, the first part, <laughs> the first part works well. Um, if we chuck this in, um, <laughs> spectacular. Um, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, for some reason. Oh, it's yeah. Okay. Uh, for some reason, all my, uh, all my observers died on me. They um. They're all locked on. I think it's because I uh, upgraded. Let's see. <laughs> Any more faulty observers? Obviously those will be, but those aren't involved. Okay, I think that'll work now. Yeah. So, what the first part does is it takes everything out of all the shulker boxes. And that works fine. Also, uh... There's supposed to be a roof here, so stuff doesn't shoot out. But it still works all right. Um, so, uh, then, <laughs> what's supposed to happen is that the uh, shulker boxes are filtered out of here, which does work, um, I believe. Um, and then, they ha all, the, all the junk goes over here, all, or all the stuff in the shulker boxes, and then it's supposed to... Uh, have it's it's supposed to take all the shulker boxes and uh, fill them up with the um, with the stuff one by one until until so it'll fill up one until it's full then it'll get the next one out and fill that one up until it's full etc so that would uh, that would work however the uh, system here doesn't work yet and I don't think it ever will so uh, yeah however that bit can be put into a uh, play in a useful way. So that's about what I'm going to be doing and actually one thing I can do since it's not going to take a while is uh, organize all the chests here for stuff. Um, so I think I'll do that with you and then uh, and then we can call it a day because I do have a lot of homework. Oh yeah, the um, <laughs> uh, the last designs that I made they had um, <laughs> they they had no visual display and you had no idea what was going on so you could uh you really you just had to trust that you were getting the numbers right um and you had to remember the numbers for each chest uh and that that doesn't that's not really so convenient so now uh <laughs> there's actually a display for that which is really really helpful um yeah just thought I might as well add that all right, there are 32 uh, sections here. Uh, I've gotten rid of what I had before, just because it wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, but I do think the first one should be devoted to uh, stones. So that's the uh, that's going to be for um, just smooth stone and maybe stone bricks too. That's going to be co for cobble. That's going to be for the rest of them, like uh, like granite and diorite, andesite, that sort of thing. Then, I want ores, let's make that a little bit more visible, I want ores, and I also want uh, processed ores, so ingots and stuff, and then maybe the, uh, yeah, and then maybe dirt, st dirt products, uh, like that, like gravel, sand, that sort of thing, or maybe, yeah, sand can go separate, uh, and then by splitting it up, by the way, we, um, we're just making it easier to, um, 
we we will have less shulker boxes to sort through when we uh, bring the chest over there. But anyway, or the contents of the chest. Uh, okay, so we've got that. That's pretty good. It's a good start. We've got wood, and uh, we just added wood there. Um, so now colored blocks, I think, would be a good idea. So let's use some nice cyan concrete. Um, <laughs> that'll that'll be for things like. Uh, okay, let let let's just split it up. Um, concrete and concrete powder, wool, and then glass and glass panes can go here. I was going to put them all in the same. Uh, um, I think that's how it goes. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, and then let's see. Maybe nether related stuff can go there. Uh, hmm. I th oh yeah, slabs and, st and that sort of thing can go there. Actually, maybe let's uh, move that over a bit. Um, let's see. It, get back to the right way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move all of these over one. <laughs> So then I want some uh, some sea lantern or some light lighting related stuff, and I think that's just about all the uh, building blocks. Um, so now maybe we move on to decorative stuff, uh, or let's see, tile entities like fur furnaces and crafting tape. Crafting tables are not tile entities. Uh, furnaces and chests and that sort of thing. They can go in there. Uh, stuff you interact with, um, and then decorative things can go there. And now, if we head back over here, um, uh, foliage and that sort of greenery can go there. And then let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, redstone. We haven't we haven't done redstone yet, so that that goes there. The slime blocks rem reminded me. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see, shulker boxes, spare shulker boxes can go there, and then oh yeah, we didn't we didn't do terracotta, did we? There we go. <laughs> I recently switched my um. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I recently switched my pick block from R to middle click, and I really don't like the swap. But you can't do you can't do this with R. If you've if you've rebound the key, it doesn't work. So I have to keep it at middle click, which is something I really don't like. Um, but eh, whatever, there you go. That sort of thing happens. Let's put mob heads there, and then. Uh, yeah, I think that's about that for decoration. I uh, already did redstone. That goes in redstone. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go with tools and armor f next. So the pick and then the sword. All good. And foodstuffs. Let's do that next. Or no, materials. So let's do stick. Uh, oh, it, it occurs to me that I have the window open, so you may be able to hear stuff outside. Really sorry about that. Um, just give me a moment. <laughs> Good grief, that was professional. Anyway, um, let's do liquid storage after that, and then food stuff. Eh, give me that. Right there. And potions. Uh, what should I use for a potion? Maybe this. Like that. And we've already, and we've still got some space left for uh, all the stuff I've forgotten. Actually, I, I don't know if I have forgotten anything, but if I have, it's there. So, that's all the organization we need to do. Uh huh. And now it's just going to be a matter of building this thing when we, uh, when we actually do build it. We don't have to organize everything. Albeit that didn't take uh, a long time. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe I should organize it a little bit more. 
I might, but not on camera. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, of course, this is, this is no longer the foliage chest. But the good thing about this sorting system <laughs> is that uh, we don't have to care. <laughs> we can just flick that lever. <laughs> I love the sound effect. Okay. Just grab this stuff out, and, uh, let's see, where's foliage? Oh, <laughs> already sucked it. There we go. <laughs> and that's, uh, <laughs> that, that's a very, very nice and easy way of moving items around. I like that. Uh, huh. Okay. So, I think that's about that, really. Uh... Oh, another movement incoming. Um, yeah, I think that was the right one, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, okay, I said that out of order. But goodbye anyway. <laughs>